Hey, what's going on guys? It's Victor from Cyborg for Life and today I want to talk about whether or not you can make a full recovery after limb lengthening surgery or not. Actually, what he really means is he's here to tell the truth about whether you can make a full recovery or not and do what you did before limb lengthening surgery. Uh, who are you? What do you mean? I'm you. Just the much, much cooler version. That's right. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing here anyway, man? I'm trying to shoot a video. No. What you were about to do is regurgitate some BS about, make sure you do your rehab, guys. It'll make all the difference. They get it. PT is hella important. And if they don't get it, well then, they're screwed. But what they really want to hear is, they're going to pay near six figures to break their legs, go through a six-month hiatus of hell, have to relearn how to walk properly again. The least you can do is tell them that they're going to be able to run, jump, and play the same as before. You know what I mean? Cyborg Vic, bruh. <laughs> you know, you're a real... Ah, ah, ah. You gotta take this. It's important. Hey, babe, how are you doing? Great, great. Remember, the truth. So what are you up to? Oh, cool. Ah, uh, you know, just talking to some chump. Yeah, yeah, I did get your message. So what I think, I think that we should really... All right, you guys want to know the truth about whether or not you can make a full recovery after lung lengthening surgery? The truth is... So yes, you can make a full recovery after limb lengthening surgery, but there's quite a bit of factors that we need to consider. First up is differentiating between what it means to make a full recovery and achieve peak athletic performance. Because both these terms are used interchangeably, but they actually mean different things. So making a full recovery means, you know, your lengthened bone and or bones are fully healed after your surgeon says so, after seeing the final x-rays, as well as your soft tissues like your muscles, nerves, and so on. It also means that you regain full flexibility in your limbs and you have the potential to do the activities that you did pre-surgery, okay? Now, achieving peak athletic performance, on the other hand, means that you're able to do your activities at your maximum athletic potential. Assuming that you were even able to reach this peak capacity, which most people never do, outside of Olympic athletes who are, you know, between the ages of 18 and 34, in their heyday, checking off boxes like rest, workout, nutrition, supplementation, and so on, okay? Now, any untouched body undergoing a major major orthopedic structure altering procedure like limb lengthening will never be the same. This means assuming that you don't have some sort of deformity or discrepancy fix, any incision, a small incision to your soft tissue will technically degrade your max performance to some extent, even if it's negligible, okay? Let alone breaking your bones and distracting them for time, okay? But it doesn't mean that you can't do the same things that you did before surgery to a high enough level to completely suffice you. In fact, I bet if a you know, vast majority of limb lengthening patients trained as hard as they could post-consolidation, they would probably be more athletic than they were pre-surgery just because of the intensified training stimulus being greater than it was pre-surgery, even if they were, their body was only 90 to 95% capable. We just fear losing what we don't even use. You'll use your height every single day, but you probably won't care about hitting your sub 11 second 100 meter dash for the foreseeable future, unless you're some sort of elite track athlete, which, you know, this procedure shouldn't even be a consideration until you're done competing. So what are some of the factors that dictate how much athleticism you'll regain post lung lengthening surgery? Well, the first is time. Assuming that no complications exist, it takes on average two to three years after their surgery to achieve full recovery. But then again, it will vary by how fast the patient heals, rebuilds and matures new muscle and soft tissue, how much they're able to rehab and regain full flexibility and strengthen their limbs, how much they lengthen, do they do conservative or extreme amounts, um, as well as their biomechanics, okay? When you lengthen any one of your limbs, you automatically change your biomechanics. Why is this a big deal? Because it affects your proprioception, which is how your body moves through space. After limb thinning surgery, your body is going, your, your center of mass, or your center of gravity will be shifted, thus affecting things like your running, jumping, and agility drills. You can eventually adapt to things through proprioceptive training, and it'll take time, but it can be awkward going through this process. Now, lifting weights in the gym can also be affected by your longer limbs, okay? Things like squats and deadlifts because of how it impacts your moment arm, forcing you to change your stance wider to prevent an excessive forward lean, okay? Or a posterior pelvic tilt, also known as a butt wink. Besides your stance altering and rebuilding enough muscle and strength in your limbs, limb lengthening should have less impact on your uh, lifting than it does on aggressive agility or speed running and jumping because of the fact that lifting is a closed chain movement, meaning your feet are locked on the ground, they're, they're touching the ground. 
um, but it can affect that as well. Now, another factor is device removal. If you have your LinkedIn device still implanted, don't expect to be able to regain any more than 80 to 85% of your athletic ability, okay? The device causes rigidity to some extent, you know, meaning that there will be a cap to what you can do all out. Now, once you get the device removed, rehab and rebuild for another three to six months, retest your abilities and tell me you're not able to achieve even further, uh, I mean, greater athletic feats. Now, the final factor that I have is nutrition. And I know it's not a very popular one amongst limb lifting patients, but nutrition is so important for a full recovery. I mean, eating a meal from a drive through versus one that's fully optimized with your ideal macro ratios uh, for your goals, it's not even a contest. I mean, you are what you eat, and this is so true after a major orthopedic procedure like limb lengthening. Um, I mean, it's what I did, and it allows me to run circles around people at the gym. <laughs> oh yeah? You can't run circles around me at the gym. Your workout isn't even a warm up. <laughs> anyway, to summarize, yes, you can make a full recovery after limb lengthening surgery, assuming all goes well with the surgery, you lengthen the safe limits, you rehab fully, you achieve full flexibility. Um, you should be able to regain anywhere from 90 to 98% of your peak athletic ability. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. <laughs> Chump.